Hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's perspective for what will be a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. It is September 30th. It is the very last day of month nine of 2020. We have come all the way through September. Okay, so here's what I wanted to um, jump on and share with you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're calling in from, from on YouTube. Good morning on Facebook. So listen, I'm reading this book and the author is not even the bulk of the book. It's just like a one-liner, but it really, really, hey, Ty, really stood out to me. He's talking about the looking glass self. Okay, so this is as we are closing out September and getting ready to start the last quarter of 2020, the last three months of the year. The last three months of the year. Okay, <laughs> hey, hey, TC. Yeah, TC, you might be calling in from Kenya. It's not in the morning over there. Okay, but here's the deal. So he talks about, and I'm combining it with where we're going for the last quarter. He talks about um, the looking glass self. And in essence, that's a theory that says you become what the most important person to you in your life thinks you are. We become what the most important person in our lives thinks we are. So who's the most important person to you? Is it your parent, your spouse, your big brother, your little sister, your grandmother? Who, who's the most important person, the most precious person to you in your life? Your, your coach, your pastor. You, you get to fill in the blank. Who, who is the mo your boss? Who's the most important person to you in your life? Because what they say, what, they're, what they expect of you, what they long for you, we become that. That's what this looking glass theory says. And so I, you know, after you figure out who's the most important person to you, think about some of the, the impacts they've had on you by what they've said to you what they think of you, what they want for you to become, what are their hopes for you, what, are they, what do they dream for you? Looking Glass Theory says we become what they think we are. And so my question to you is what if, so what if God were the most important person to you? And everything he thinks about you, what he longs for you, because I'm, 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 we're getting ready to step off into the last three months, the last quarter of the year. And so nothing changes until we change. And I promise you, we cannot change without having a mindset change, without shifting our mindset. And so what does, if, if God were the most important person to you in your life and what he thought about you, what he says about you, That's what you become. So he says, oh, you're wonderfully and fearfully made. You are perfect the way I created you. I stopped you at your height. I, I grew you to your height. Your height is right on time. The color of your eyes, the melanin in your skin. I, I created you like that on purpose. I, I did that. Those gifts that I gave you, that talent that I gave you. I know you, you know, that irritates you sometime and you don't want to be seen as the only one. I made you holy. You don't need to get afraid of the word holy. It means set apart. It means distinct. Set aside. I, I created you like that. I didn't give you that, that fear that you operate in. What if this Looking glass theory has some truth to it. And what if we shifted the most important person to us, 
to be in God and what he says about us. I'm talking a mindset shift. If you have a parent or your grandparent or your coach or your pastor or fill in the blank, your, your husband, your wife, your children, what if they really, really believed in you and they, they know that you can become all that you were designed to be? What if you really, what if there's some truth to this looking glass theory, which says, which says we become what the person that means the most to us thinks about us. So hello for all who are jumping on and joining me. The looking glass self. So that was my thought and I wanted to run that past you as I, it's not earth shattering news, but as I remind you that we are getting ready to step into the last quarter of 2020. If you want things to be different, hello, Marsha, if you want things to be different, that means we have to be different. If you want things to change, I can't take it another day, something's got to change. Okay, well, newsflash, the something is what's going on up in here because it's going to dictate what we do, how we operate, how we act, how we react to everything that's happening around us. Because it's not what happens to you, it's how you respond to what is happening to you. So until this changes, until your mindset shifts, until you um, recalibrate and unlearn some things that are going on on here, nothing was going to change and we don't need to think otherwise, okay? So hello, Suzanne, Mwah to you and Tony. Um, so, so that's it. You can change locations, you can change jobs, you can change um, relationships, you can come and go and, and you is still going to follow you into every new relationship, into every new location, into every new job, into every new position. You follows you everywhere you go. So we need to start here. I, I, this has to shift before anything on the exterior changes. That much I can promise you. And so October, November, December, this last quarter of 2020, slow your roll, talk about, oh, I need things to change. I cannot go into 2020. Okay, well, let's start right here. Okay, let's just start right here. Okay, thank you for joining me. I will join you Monday through Friday, 5.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, California time, 5.30 a.m., uh, Monday through Friday. And uh, would love to have you join me. Just, just want to drop a different perspective of a few items. A few things that fall into my passion lane. Um, just give you a different perspective of it. Make this a wonderful Wednesday. And until we meet again, take real good care of yourselves.